I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Attention fans of funny music, Fump Fest is back! Returning to Con on the Cob, this year's event will feature performances by 2D6, Carla Albrecht, Holy Bongwater, Pastor Haster, Ross Childs, and Steve Goody. Plus, dumb parody ideas and the 14th annual Logan White Her Speak Award. Hey, 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 who are you? And how did you get into my studio? Silence! I am Dr. Milo T. Pinkerton III, founder of the Consortium of Genius. That organization of evil scientists best known as the COG. COG! <laughs> and we are taking over Fump Fest. Why, nobody cares about those other fools. They shall come to see me. Oh, us! Wow. Us! But once our takeover is complete, we shall move on to phase two, which is taking over most of Northern Ohio. <laughs> and then spreading out to the rest of Ohio. Then the world! And finally, the entire universe! <laughs> Britain, don't you think you should read the rest of this copy? Of course. Yes. Let's see. <clears throat> now, where did he leave off? Oh, here we go. The 14th annual Logan Whitehurst Memorial Award for Excellence in Comedy Music. Dumb parody ideas. And, uh... You already said that, bro! <clears throat> All right, but it's on here twice for some reason. Oh, that must be a misprint. Uh, oh, clearly, no. it's see, let's clearly see. Oh, no. Live podcasts, movie time, the game show, and this year, play Bump Bingo for a chance to win a bag of authentic Pinkertonium molecules. Oh, yes, of course. What? They're giving away my precious Pinkertonium? Sure How dare they? This will not stand. Why, just for that, we're going to have a live edition of Escape from the Secret Lab at Fumpfest, where we shall capture the organizers of Fumpfest and just let them try to escape. Let them plead for their little lives or perform some of their so-called songs. <laughs> Whatever! Why, I'm sure that when all's said and done, I shall crush them like a nut. <laughs> well, they are from Ohio. Okay, so, uh, well, he didn't finish here, so let's see. Uh, Fump Fest is taking place October 3rd through 6th as part of Con on the Cop in Hudson, Ohio. So visit Fump Fest for more information. That's fumpfest.com. You, you might want the www's on there. And you know, we'll see you there. So, okay, bye-bye. We'll see you in Ohio. And don't forget to bow to the Cog! Cog! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insaney, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to Nintendo Online's greatest announcement! by Starbomb. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician and I react exclusively to comedy music because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means for you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over or laughing over the jokes and missing them. This way I can talk about how the video and lyrics work in tandem to help enhance the comedy and the music. Uh, this way I can talk about uh, breaking down the comedy or sometimes even explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people. And sometimes I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. Videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive in to this new Star Bomb. Now, this came out this past Friday. Obviously, I release videos on Friday, so I couldn't react to that one right away. But I'm reacting to it now. This is the second of three videos that are coming out. For before the release of the new album, Star Bomb Boom, The Rise of Lyric, uh, which comes out October 25th. The third video comes out the same day the album drops. I'm looking forward to that. So it's been a new video a month, one in August, one in September, and this one now. Uh, from what I understand, this is a whisper rap song, so I might have to turn captions on because I might not be able to hear it because I'm an old. It's true. I'm the same age as Dan. Um, but uh, we'll find out. I'm looking forward to this. I hear this is a lot of fun. 
Uh, also, animation by Shiglu, uh, which is another great animator that the Grumps have used before. So I'm excited to see and hear this. Let's dive in. Pressing play. Ah. Also, before I press play. Yeah, fake out. Fun, isn't it? Uh, if you want to see this video without me yammering all over it, of course, link is in the description box below. Why would you watch the reaction first? That's silly. But, you know, in case you are, go watch the original video first, because I'm going to talk a bunch. <laughs> oh, that is, that is some... Them hardcore whispering, but yeah, Dan as a hiding as a lamp, and Ninja Brian's got a pointy head. That's that's a design choice. I think it's uh, I think it's definitely really fun. But uh, <laughs> Nintendo fan got a Switch day one, so you can hold it in your hand. All right, let's take it back a little bit here. I apologize if the audio gets a little crunchy. There's a problem with my capture equipment, unfortunately. There's nothing I can do about it because it doesn't let me know when I'm watching it that it does that. I only find out when I look at the capture after where everything's recorded, so... Sorry if it gets crunchy. It does sometimes, and it doesn't sometimes. It's unpredictable, so nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. Get the speedy broadband so you can download games from U.S. and Japan. Uh, that look on Brian's face is a look we have never seen on Ninja Brian's face. Uh, that's incredible. Uh, Brian and, and Dan doing the shocked pointing meme. Great. Uh, just full of great visual gags already. I love this. <laughs> uh, take it back a couple seconds here. Uh, the the <laughs> the brief point between stole the secrets from Nintendo. People from Nintendo listening in. Brian looming above them, and then the next shot is just them sitting on the couch. Brian covered in blood. So good. I am going to turn the captions off because uh, on because there's. Uh, it's a, it's a little hard to see some stuff. I love that it's like, it looks exactly like how they do the Nintendo Directs. Uh, except with, you know, Shiglo's animation moving the characters through it. This is... Super fun. I don't know who really does Whisper Rap. Uh, Aaron mentioned the, the name of the artist that they're aping in the uh, Patreon Q&A they did this week on Monday. Um, but I don't remember the name of the artist, he said, and it's not a, a form of hip-hop I'm familiar with. I've not heard any artists do a Whisper Rap before. So it's it's going to be this through the whole thing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move the... I, somebody told me I can move the subtitles, which is neat. So I'm going to do that. Put that up there. Take it back a little here. And <laughs> Dan... See, that's the shot I was talking about with, with Brian covered in blood and Dan just happily taking notes. Oblivious Dan being oblivious. It's, it's fun. Nintendo. Squimble to the sequel to Squimble. <laughs> Ronnie's Barnyard Tussle is looking like Punch-Out. That's super fun. Uh, the barn circuit from Idaho, age four, weighed 460 pounds. Uh, cow profile from also Idaho, age six, weighed 1,064 too. So pa cow versus pig, that's, you know, good. Shave the Cat and Adventures of Dave. This is starting to feel like a list song. Uh, I've talked about that on the show before, where, like, 
you can mine a lot of comedy uh, in a song by making your song just be a list song. Here is a list of things that sound funny, and as you go through the list, you get the escalation just from how much more ridiculous you can make that list be. Uh, technically, the first Starbomb song they released, which was uh, Pokemon Smasher Past, that's technically a list song as well, because you're they're listing all the Pokemon, and the gag there is that Eren wants to smash every single one of them. Somebody pointed out in their comments on that song, too, that every one that Eren said he would smash in the song, he actually said he would smash when they did it on Game Grumps, when they did the, the tier list or the Smash or Pass list, uh, which is incredible. By the way, uh, taking it back to, to one of the games they mentioned here, and let's hit play real quick. Adventures of Dave. I'm pretty sure there's a sketch on a song, uh, on, a, uh, on an album that I did called Adventures of Dave. Um, I feel, I say I'm pretty sure because I didn't write the sketch myself. It was a sketch from an a artist friend of mine that I appeared on. Uh, you're going to make me look this up, but I'm pretty sure Adventures of Dave is, is a thing that I've done. Uh, if you go to insaneian.bandcamp.com, shameless plug for my music, uh, there is definitely a album called uh, Songs for Superheroes. Songs for Superheroes is this album right here. Great cover. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, no, I'm sorry. The, the sketch, the end of the album, is called The Misadventures of Dave. Dave is a superhero. So, Adventures of Dave versus The Misadventures of Dave. Alright, not the same thing. Not that I thought that they would be familiar with my work and, you know, mentioning me subtly by that. Why, they wouldn't do that. They only mention me at the end of Game Grumps episodes as the person who keeps the list of the games they've beaten. Yes. I'm the same insane Ian as that. Yes, anyway, moving on. That was weird. I'm pausing a lot here because a lot of the game names are really funny. Pillow Fight Simulator, and it's the pillow itself punching the people, which is not what you expect from a pillow fight, and you haven't experienced Banana Bazaar. Uh, the subtitles, uh, whoever did the captions on this, uh, is, it's just the, uh, generated captions. It's not been curated. Uh, I do like up in the top corner, uh, the user symbol for the Switch is, uh, th this picture of Aaron doing this. <laughs> We're only 40 seconds into a 3 minute and 40 second song and I've paused like a thousand times. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, I warned you at the beginning. <laughs> we had rapid fire ones there. Pachinko, uh, Barbie's Adventures in Toledo, Ohio, goes in, immediately leaves. Uh, we <laughs> we're going to take it back a little bit here because uh, we're right back to Adventures of Dave again. Uh, that's a lot of butter and milk and rats. What is, what is the gank maze? Egg maze. It sounds like he's saying yank maze, which is why I was questioning why it was an egg on it, uh, and also why I'm glad I kind of have subtitles up, but, but that's not one, that one didn't even come up on the subtitles, <laughs> on the captions, I should say. Pachinko de Mayo. Not just a pachinko game. But Pachinko de Mayo, which is is just mashing Japanese culture into Mexican culture, uh, it it's cultural appropriation in the game. Hooray! Uh, that's hilarious. All right, those are some serious, uh, some serious moves-like things there. Uh, that's, that's good. 
It's good. I'm <laughs> I'm digging how this song sounds. They said before, like they're not working working with twerp on this one like they did on the previous album. Uh, and they're they're using a lot more samples in this one, which is in, an interesting way to go for this. They're definitely doing a lot of pastiches of different styles. Um, like they said, like this is like supposed to be aping a particular artist who does whisper rapping. So uh, I, I'm excited for this. They've been they've been leaning heavily more into the pastiches on, on the albums. Uh, like Welcome to the Mario Party is very like late '90s, early 2000s West Coast hip hop stuff. Um, down to to Doctor Sung almost being a, a a Nate Dog analog with the with the chorus vocals. So yeah. Grab your SD card, got diarrhea warrior, and also more your favorite game like Bug Hunt and Mega Lawyer. Great. <sighs> These game titles are so good. Diarrhea Warrior, Cuck Hunt. <laughs> Not Duck Hunt, but Cuck Hunt. Holy shit, that's funny. Uh, and Mecha Lawyer, which is just robots in Ace Attorney. That is so good. Regular Sword? Oh my god. And the subtitles, the, the captions can't even keep up. It just says CCK Hunt, which, you know, if you're playing Guess the Vowel, it could be Cock Hunt. We don't know. Um, holy shit. I paused it before the gag, but it's it's there on the screen. The video game version of I Saw the Sign, the song from Ace of Base. And it's, like, digitized for, like, Nintendo. So it's, like, an 8-bit version of that. And, like, the caption says, and it opened up my eyes. <laughs> Just because that's the caption from the game itself. Oh, my God, that's funny. Basket Bunt 89, which is... Basketball was a game. It was a movie about a fake game, uh, and so they've they've take the inverse of that. Instead of basketball, it's basket bunt. So you're hitting a basketball with a bat, uh, bunting it. Uh, this is so good. Um, there were video game versions of music videos too. There was a game for Sega CD at the height of using full motion video in games. Uh, so many games use that. I love full motion video games. I'm going to do a video about that eventually. Um, and, uh, you know, they had Make My Music video from a couple of different artists. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch had a Make My Music video game for Sega CD. So did CNC Music Factory. Uh, In Excess had one. Uh, and uh, and Crisscross had one. All, there were four artists that had the Make My Music video. There may have been a fifth. I don't recall. But those are the ones that I remember seeing. Uh, I think I still have at least three of them. I don't think I ever bought the Marky Mark one, but I had the other ones. Um, and, like, you would take clips from their music videos and stock footage that was free, royalty-free stock footage, and you would cut your own version of the music video using the game interface. Uh, and because it was Sega CD, you know, the CD file size, everything's bit-crushed and tiny. Um, looks better than that, but still... Bit crushed, and uh, it's an amazing, amazing series of games. Uh, they're terrible, and I loved them. Uh, but that's that can be said with a lot of full motion video games. <laughs> but I'm getting off topic. I'm sorry. Super plurm. We're just. This is the genius thing for comedy music for me that like. Especially when, like, making a list song and having the list become more and more ridiculous. You don't know what something might rhyme with, so you just make up a word. What rhymes with learn? Many things. But let's make up a word for a game title. Super plurm. Sure. That's so good. The look of Danny in bed with... That's such a great screenshot. Uh, Mecha Nick. Instead of Phoenix, who is nicknamed Nick, Mecha Nick, take that objection, and it and it just shoots off, and it hits one of the characters that looks like from Phoenix right with the the thing there. Um, holy crap! There's just so much detail in this. It's going by so fast. Like I have to keep pausing to catch the detail. Um, finding the items in Mike's backyard, uh, a a screw 
and a paperclip and the regular sword. Um, <laughs> again, so much detail and everything. But yeah, like building up and just making your own your own words. But I was talking about Dan in bed with Princess Daisy and I think Birdo. Yeah, no, it's it's Peach and Birdo. Thought it was Daisy because it's Dan because Dan seemed to like Daisy more. But uh, yeah, no, he's getting down with with both of them. Right on. Um, and also that that shot of of Ninja Brian in the Ninja Brian outfit with a Zelda shirt over it. That's that's so good. And I I know people are going to cosplay that version. You think I'm kidding. I actually know people who are going to do it because I, I, a friend of mine has already told me that they're planning it. Um, I hope you do it, Lucas. Uh, this is great. <laughs> Let's just keep going with repeating the phrase plurm. Holy crap, let's not just make up a word, let's keep saying it over and over again as if people are supposed to know what the fuck we're talking about. God, I love that. Okay, we're taking it back again, just so I can hear more plurm. Super plurm. Real lips in the middle of a cartoon disturb me. Clutch cargo. All right. Instead of Galaga, you've got shooty gun space. Not Galaga. Galaga. He pronounced it Galaga. I don't know which is right. I've always called it Galaga myself, but a steroids, not asteroids. That would be an actual game. Oh boy, so much. It was the shot of Toad in bed emulating the shot of Mario in bed from the American version of Super Mario Bros. 2. That is so good. And like the graphics of, of Toad giving the alimony check to Toadette and her driving off is done in the style of that game. Holy crap, so much work went into this video and it's so genius. I'm not even halfway through. If this is your first time joining us, this is a regular occurrence. I'm, I'm breaking things down and I'm talking about the comedy in it, but I'm also appreciating the ridiculousness and the comedy in the production because that's where my love is. That's what I love about this. So if you were expecting me to just sit back and smirk and then talk about it at the end, I have ADHD. I have to talk about it now. I pause a lot. Yeah. There's a game up in it's a Mario game. Yeah, it's Mario. Teaches why he pissed all bitch. I haven't even gotten even stop. <sighs> Mavis Beacon teaches typing. And then Mario taught typing. Mario teaches wiping. It rhymes with typing. I mean, we have a couple titles here that are... that are... based on other games that kind of sound like them, like... Cuck Hunt. Mario teaches wiping. That, uh... Only Starbomb would bring you Mario teaches wiping. I don't think there will ever be a Mavis Be Beacon teaches wiping, and I think we're all glad for that. Do you think we would get, like... a a Dreamcast expansion for for Switch Online and we'd have the Wiping of the Dead. Would that be a thing that might be in a sequel to this song if Starbomb does more? Uh, you can have that one for free, guys. Yeah. Party goes tomorrow, they're releasing smart fella, he feels smart and if you think that ain't enough to put your skills to the test, wait till you see the rest. I said wait till you see the rest of these games go. <laughs> The breakdown choruses are just so ridiculous. It's just Aaron making noises. Making 8-bit noises with his mouth. It's so funny. Um, the person that they're telling all of these things to looks like they're texting for help. Uh, so we're going to take it back a little. Yeah, 
calling 911. That's fantastic. That expression on Mario's face, it says nice wipe. It says nice wipe. I haven't reacted to this song because it is a short on YouTube and TikTok, etc. But I've reacted to the band OCT, Oct, on Company Time before. Uh, and they have a song they released recently as a short called Frictionless Wipe. There's an amount of relatability to it, um, if you don't mind scatological humor. Uh, I, I recommend seeking it out. Mario teaches wiping. Man, there are some jokes that are so dumb they're genius. You know what I mean? They're, it's just like it, it surpasses stupid to become really smart. That is, that's one of them. You can't explain it more than that. It's just a dumb joke, but it's genius in its stupidity. You know? I, I don't know how to explain it further than that. It's just... Yeah. Oh, bitch, I haven't even gotten even started because tomorrow they're releasing Smart Fella. He felt smart. Fart Smella, he felt smarted. That's a play on the old, like, grade school playground gag. He's a smart fella. He smell farted. Or something along those lines. I don't know. It's been a while since it's been grade school. But something like that. You're a smart fella. He's a fart smeller. He felt smarted. He smelt farted. What? Uh, whatever. Something like that. You get the. You get the point. It's. It's playing with the moving of the first letters of the words. Kind of like in the NSP song "Dig Old Bick." Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. The unnecessary dump truck on Brian. Uh, <laughs> or maybe it's necessary, depending on your predilections. Uh, <laughs> that is hilarious and fantastic. I... I love this song. This is just so bizarre. It's great. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we go back to Plurm and like the build up of Plurm. It's Super Plurm is the Super Nintendo remake of a game we released on NES called Plurm, which is based on the Japanese game called Plurm. I think that's what they said. If you're hoping to play the original Plurm, we don't have it. We only have Super Plurm. So, so funny. You bought Nintendo Classico, you can try Plurm. But that is only a demo for a limited term. Oh my god. If you bought this Super NES Classic, the mini classic system, you can play Plurm on that, but it only has a demo for a limited term. We've gone back around on it now. So we had Learn leading to the made-up word Plurm, and then Plurm leading to a real rhyme with term. You can't make up words for other songs. Only in comedy music can you just make up and say whatever the fuck you want. God, I love this. And presto, it's Plurm. Demo ended. <laughs> Yoshi's Tag Shelter, the pages and pages of tutorial I needed to play this. Aaron doesn't do the tutorial, so let's be honest. <laughs> I have to stop it again. He goes, it's because you can't read it because the papers are faded. Uh, Yoshi goes to prison and dies, and it cuts to a shot of Dan as number one Yoshi fan getting sad because Yoshi died. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Super financial lender. What? 
is happening? His, Yoshi's full name on his 1040 form in U.S. Texas is Yoshi Yosherton, by the way. This is now canon, much like Mario Mario and Luigi Mario are the Mario Brothers' names. Canon. Wow. Russian Defender, Finances Lender, Dinosaurs vs. Ducks, and Postal Service Defender. This this is where the genius of the list song comes in, because you're just naming weird shit, and it just gets weirder and weirder. And Russian Surrender is... It looked like Tetris, basically. Uh, financial Lender is Wall Street Kid. Uh, just so much, so much fun. and the remake of Squark. I recommend play Squark right before you play Squark. I recommend Squark right before you play Squark. And the captions can't keep up. They say Sark. Uh, <laughs> just, I may as well turn them off, but I, I, I had them on because I was trying to hear things. Oh, so much craziness. Guys, guys, I've mentioned this before. Sometimes you can have too much detail in a song, and and those of us who like detail in videos, who don't usually pause the video when watching them. I don't. When I watch videos on my own, I don't pause all the time, unless something like this comes up. You have a Wikipedia page for a game that doesn't exist, and you've written real text for it, you haven't filled it with lorem ipsum stuff, so I want to read it. I want to read what what the lore of this made-up fucking game that you've put in here. Because I have mental issues. Insane Ian, not just a clever name. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I won't subject you all to this. Um... <laughs> Squ I am going to read a, a, the first paragraph here, because I do see Ninja Brian popping up here in Brian's Super Murder Land. Uh, but Squark first appeared as the player character in Squark in 1983, a platform game. Arnold Handsome and Daniel Avidaniel wanted Squark to appeal to nature lovers, thus leading to Squark's original animal-like design, rather than his more humanoid bipedal design, which can be seen in Squark, the sequel to Squark. In the original Squark, Squark would run on the ground to retrieve his acorn from the evil Electrode. Electrode. I'll let that marinate. While in Squark, the remake of Squark, Squark uses a skateboard. The change in tone between the games is partially due to the poor sales of the first, and also partially due to the fact that Ninja Brian stabbed both Arnold and Daniel to death over a creative dispute, which has a link, with Squark's hat. Ninja Brian is now the sole owner of Squark and Squark, the remake of Squark, as well as Squark 3D. Which feels like a Bubsy 3D joke. Uh, Squark has appeared in three games. Oh, they've separated it with Aaron's head in there. So, uh, yeah, I'm reading it now. It, I said it wasn't going to happen, and it's happening now. Three games, Squark, Squark, and Ninja Brian Super Murder Land. Surprisingly, Squark 3D does not feature Squark, instead heavily focusing on the antagonist of the original series, Electrode. In Ninja Brian Super Murder Land, Ninja Brian and Electrode team up to kill two antagonists of the game, Argon Hand Slam and Denny's Sandwich. And there's links, there's hyperlinks to both those names. It's a confessional for Ninja Brian, tells how he pre murdered his previous partners. Not reading the whole thing, but I, I I got a little invested in what I saw. You can go back and read the rest yourself. I'm sure many people have. This there's just I love shit like that. But at the same time, for people who 
don't have the mental illness that I have who just watch videos, uh, you know, will they be f compelled to stop to read what's in the background, interrupting the flow of the song that would one would normally see when watching a video, when not hosting a show about reacting and, and breaking things down? I don't know. I'm not one of those people. This has gone off the rails, and I'm sorry. I twitch. There's no more left. This is a comedy song, so I feel like there might be one left. <laughs> they were different ninjas, but Ninja Brian is sticking out the different ninjas. The one big ninja looked big, and I thought it was I thought it was Brian, but no, it, it he didn't have the the dragons on the shirt. That's a good dodge. That... Shiglu is David Hootsell. Uh, bravo. Uh, everybody involved in the making of this video. That was absolutely bug nuts bonkers, and I loved it. Uh, list songs, man. Hell yeah. That is... Stupid fun. I I absolutely loved that. That is... You can get this song and the song before it, Pokemon Smasher Pass, online right now, streaming, download, whatever you want. Of course. And the full album is up for pre-order. Signed vinyl, signed CD, link in the description below, and they come with an exclusive keychain. I, uh... I need to, uh... pre-order the album. I haven't pre-ordered it yet. Uh, that was super, super fun. Super Mario All Bars, I think, is a Shiglu video, not a Smash, not a Starbomb video. New music video and album release October 25th. Mark your calendars, it's coming. And thank you to Shiglu for animating this amazing music video. Yeah, bravo. Go check out his other videos. Go check out his channel. Yeah, there it is on his channel, Super Mario All Bars. He's got his own rap video up that is fantastic, I have to say. I'll check that out at another point. Yeah, that's that's the end of that. That was that was great. I really dug the shit out of that. Hopefully you did too. Like I said, if you want to check it out without me rambling all over it, link is in the description box below. If you liked this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, like these folks over here do, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, exclusive reactions, all sorts of other stuff like that. Anyway, all of that to say, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Good morning, gorgeous. Hope you enjoyed the coitus that we shared in my bed. Yeah! Oh, last night, you know it was awesome. Get up.